today we are going to address a very good question that what happens when we exceed the allowable range in this session we will talk about the range exceeding condition of integers both signed and unsigned and similar concept is adopted on other data types as well so let's get started here in this example i had provided an integer variable and that to an unsigned integer variable and assigned it a value 42949672952 which is the maximum allowable value of an unsigned integer let's see what happens when we try to execute this code and this is what we are getting as a result 42949672952 now this is quite expected right let's change the value a little bit i'd exceeded this value to 1 and make it 42949672956 and see what will happen when we try to exceed the range we are getting value is equals to 0 now this is quite weird isn't it to understand why this happen when we try to exceed the range we come back to 0 again we need to take one short example to help illustrate the fact in this example i'm taking a 3 bit data and have written all the possible combinations of a 3 bit representation we can say 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 Zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one one one. We are having the value from zero to seven for a three bit representation. The minimum value would be equals to zero, and the maximum value is equals to seven. And this is our range. Okay, let's see what happens when we try to represent the value one greater than seven. That is eight. If we won't be able to represent this value eight in a three bit representation, as you can see, fourth bit. place value is equals to 2 raised to the power 3 therefore if we want to represent value 8 we need to set this bit and rest of the bits we need to reset if we force ourselves to represent the value 8 in a 3 bit representation then we won't be able to do that and we left with these three bits only as this fourth bit won't be able to represent in our 3 bit representation therefore we can say that in a 3 bit we are getting this value as equals to 0 as in 3 bit representation this one bit is hidden and with the rest of the bits this is equals to 0 if we want to represent the value one higher than that that is 9 we won't be able to represent that as well because this fourth bit is not available to us and we are just available with these three bits therefore whatever is there inside these three bits we would be able to represent that only and that is equals to 1 in this case if we try to represent the value 10 then similarly we won't be able to represent that because of this bit is not available to us this is actually equal to 2 in decimal for 11 this is equals to 3 as you can see in this example of 3 bit representation our range is from 0 to 7 and if we try to exceed the range we come back again to 0 and then 1 then 2 and then 3 and so on that means we are actually performing some kind of cycle or something starting from 0 itself to up to 7 and then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 and 4 then 5 6 7 and again 0 1 2 3 and so on this is nothing but acting like a mod function and in this example of 3 bit representation this is mod 8 function or mod 2 raised to the power 3 function this is because if we try to represent the value 8 why we are getting value is equals to 0 because we apply 8 mod 8 which is equals to 0 mod gives us the remainder and this is the difference between a division and a mod function division provides us the question as a result and mod gives us the result as a remainder therefore when we divide 8 by 8 we get result is equals to 0 similarly if we try to divide 9 by 8 we get result is equals to 1 because remainder is equals to 1 and if we divide 10 by 8 we get remainder is equals to 2 and so on similarly for a 32 bit representation if we try to exceed the range then you have to consider one extra bit that is 33rd bit but as we are available with only 32 bits therefore there is no way we would be able to represent higher value than the maximum value and we come back again to zero so we can say that for 32 bit unsigned data our mod function would be mod 2 raised to the power 32 for n bit unsigned data this would be mod 2 raised to the power n in general now let's talk about the signed range signed range is little different but the idea is same let's again take an example of a 3 bit data For a three-bit data, signed range would be minus four, two, plus three, according to two's complement representation. Now it's quite easy to represent the number in two's complement and see what happens. 
when we try to exceed the range, but it would be much better if we visualize it in a different way. Let's take an analogy of a clock. Like a clock is mod 12 function because when it's 13 o'clock, it means 1 o'clock. Isn't that so? Because we are available with numbers from 1 to 12. Therefore, if we want to represent 13, we are actually coming back to 1 again. Because 13 mod 12 is equals to 1. This clock analogy helps us in understanding these range exceeding conditions. Let's visualize this. As we know, for 32-bit unsigned integer, range would be from 0 to 4 to 9 4 9 6 7 2 9 5. And if we try to exceed this maximum value, that is 4 to 9 4 9 6 7 2 9 5 2 4 to 9 4 9 6 7 2 9 6, we come back again to 0. Isn't that so? Therefore, in a similar case, the range of an assigned integer is from minus 2147483648 to plus 2147483647. When we try to exceed the maximum value, that is 2147483647 to plus 2147483648, we actually get this value, that is minus 2147483648. As this is the similar case that we had done in the case of unsigned. When we exceed this, we come back to zero. In the similar fashion, when we exceed this, we come back to this minimum value, minus 2147483648. And if we try to represent number, minus 2147483649, which is one lesser than minus 2147483648, we would come back to the maximum value, which is plus 2147483647. Let's try to verify it by executing in code block. Here I have provided a signed integer variable. By default, integer variable is signed. And I provided the maximum value for a signed integer variable that is 2147483648, which is one greater than the maximum value. Let's see what happens when we try to execute this code. Isn't that our expected result? That is minus 2147483648, which is the minimum value possible for a signed integer variable. Let's change the code a little bit. Change this to negative value and make it 9. And this is what we are getting as a result. 2147483647 which is the maximum value in our signed integer. Okay friends, this is it for now. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.